Yes. You're gonna get down. <laughs> Joey, how much do you cost a month? Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So this video is just going to cover some of Charlie's monthly expenses. So first up are treats. These are the dental treat spikes and Charlie loves these. They go into his purple dinosaur and you'll see in a minute he'll take these up to the landing and he's just quite happy there and he just tries to chew them out. These are about £6 per bag. Then the other treats he really enjoys are these WAG treats. He really likes the low fat ones. And he also enjoys the barbecue bangers. And we either put them into this treat ball or he does tricks for them, that sort of thing. And they cost about a pound per bag. Before lockdown, Charlie did have a dog walker as a puppy who came twice a week and that was £80 a month. He's not currently going with the dog walker, he's staying with his nana during the day. The so poop bags of course and then the flea and tick treatment. These you get three treatments in and they're about £10 but we really don't want Charlie to get fleas especially with so much fluff. Of course there's also kibble so we use Derma Comfort from Royal Canine and this costs about £40 for 10 kilograms. Charlie also likes cheese, he likes sausages, ham, chicken anything like that. So some of your other costs are your vet insurance and we pay about £35 a month which covers most things as well. There is still a year excess so that's about £125 for us so it's good to have that just in case you need it and some of you may know Charlie was really ill as a puppy so we definitely needed it then. And also there's Charlie's grooming Every four months, and as you can see, it's worth every single penny. <laughs> yeah, I said that, but that works out to be about twenty pounds a month. This one. Is this child? That's just a bird. Just a bird. Go on then. Go have a look. So when Charlie was ill, we needed to take him to the emergency vets because it was out of hours. And with those, you do pay up front their fee, and then you can claim it back in your insurance. And I think because we went twice, it was around two hundred and fifty pounds, something around there. And then you had the cost of any treatment on top of that as well so it wasn't cheap so it's definitely worth having a bit of a, a saving fund. He also needed a CT scan and our insurance only covered the first thousand pounds of that as well so we did have to pay the excess which I think was 500 pounds so they can get expensive but generally speaking you're not too bad are you? So I also pay an extra £15 a month for rent for Charlie. Okay, so it came to around £132 per month. Now, it may vary from month to month and things like your vet excess, you may not need to pay monthly as well. But I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea.